Hi everybody, this is another uh, Flying Rookie review and this is the part 4 of the construction of the DIY X450 graphite quadcopter frame and this video is going to have three steps. Uh, the first step is that I'm going to set up uh, the ESCs with my remote and in this case I'm going to do each one separately so I'm just going to connect the receiver and the power cable to the battery and do one at a time. I know that you guys can do all of them in one shot if you just connect all of them with a uh, controller but the problem is for you guys to do that you will have to get all these values on the controller and you will have to uh, lower it and then you know once you set up all the ESCs in one shot then you will have to you know put it back uh, where they belong. I just prefer just to leave the factory settings intact in and just do each one uh, um, each, uh, each one separately and, and that way I won't mess with the settings over here okay but that's a choice if you guys prefer just to do all four in one shot then just uh, connect it here but just remember that you have to put the values back to where they belong according to the seller where I purchased uh, this controller they recommend me that it's better and it's easier if I just do it the way I'm going to do it right now so I'm just going to start right now okay so the first thing that you're going to do is uh, turn on your remote and make sure it's transmitting okay and now just move the throttle all the way up now, the next thing you're going to do is uh, pull out the ESC to the battery. The receiver is already it's behind the red, it's already plugged into the ESC. Okay, after you hear that, you just push this thing down. And it's already set, so now you can just move it. You can move it. See, if you move it now, it's working. Now, the second thing that you want to find out with this is like the the motors are spinning to the right direction. As you can see, this is the front of the quadcopter, and this motor one, two, three, and four. Okay, the odd numbers, you know, one and three, they're supposed to spin counterclockwise, and the ones that they are uh, four and two, they're supposed to spin clockwise. So once you get one right, since my uh, speed control and my motor, they got the cables that are colored, you know, all you have to do is just leave uh, the, set, the the blue color, just leave it where it's at, and all you have to do is the one, the red and the black, just to invert it. Or just put it, you know, uh, with matching colors. So I just want to find out if this motor is spinning on counterclockwise. Just uh, find out. Yeah? going counterclockwise. Another thing is uh, the reason I put these tapes over here is because it's better you do this without the propellers because I mean you can make a mistake and this thing can just take off in front of you and you can damage it so at least you know with this tape over here you can see where it's spinning. So I see it's spinning counterclockwise. So what I did here is I put blue with blue just like in all the ESCs but I put red with black and black with red okay so since you already know that this is the way it's supposed to be in motor one just do motor two the same way now uh, I'm sorry motor three the same way and so motor two and motor uh, uh, four just make it you know the colors match so as you can see this one the colors are matching it's red with red blue with blue and black with black with black and the same thing I did over here so the even numbers just match the colors and the uh, odd numbers they just uh, um, uh, just do it the opposite way so what it's going to do is going to make the motor you know uh, go in reverse rotation that's counterclockwise and that's the way it's supposed to be okay so this is the end of step one so I'm going to proceed to go to step two okay right now this is step two and what you're going to do is like you're going to remove the red positive connector from uh, three of the four ESCs 
Okay, so what you have to do is you have to uh, pull this connector out. Now, the reason that you got to do that is because in this case, this uh, gyro controller that I'm using right now, it won't, uh, uh, according to the instructions, it will only accept one powered ESC. Okay, so the other three, they have to have the positive uh, connector uh, remove the positive cable remove of the connector or you will destroy the unit it will short the unit now if you using the DU344 from Gaui you don't have to do that if you use this type of uh, uh, gyro controller this one is designed to accept all the ESCs with all the power but the Fatec FY90Q, it won't let you. And maybe some of the other fake that model, models like the FY91 uh, and so on, they might not also uh, set three powered ESCs. So then again, I'm going to proceed to remove uh, the positive connector of uh, the, the other three ESCs and just leave one powered. So uh, the, the one that you're going to leave powered is the the one from the motor number one. That one just don't touch it, just leave it alone. Just do two, three, and four. Okay? Okay, so you just put some pressure over here with a screwdriver. And the right one. Insulated, and this an option if you want not to have this thing, you know, dangling all over the place. You just bend it back, and use a bigger head shrink. So what I just did here, like I said, you got to do it only on three of the ESCs. So just leave the ESC number one, you know, alone, and just do it on two, three, and four, okay? Because number one is the only one that needs to be powered, okay? So this is the end of step two. Okay, I'm going to start with the final step of video number four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl uh, the cables of the ESCs, and that way you don't have this really long cable. Uh, it's supposed to look like something like this.
So the way to do that is like you grab like a, you know, you can use like a regular screwdriver or like a piece of, like a tube or a little rod, and then you just wrap around. Oil fashion the cable around the rod, just like I'm doing right now. Now it's completely wrap around. Now the next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your heat gun. The same one that you use to work with the monocles or the hitch rings, just like I've done on this video and previous videos, and just hit it. Watch out that you don't burn your hands. Pretty much it. You see, I got a nice oil cable instead of having a big long cable. It's going to look nicer on the layout on the wiring harness on the back of the frame. So, the same thing that I did here, you just have to do it in the remaining you know, cables that you have over here. Okay, so this is the end of the video number four. Okay, now. So the next video is going to be video number five. I'm going to uh, install the receiver and the uh, gyro controller into the quadcopter. I'm going to plug everything in with the battery and everything. And I'm going to make sure that the servo reversing on my radio is it's, uh, it's set up according to the way the quadcopter is supposed to work. So if you decide to use tape, just like I did to set up the ESC and find out which direction um, the, the, the motors that are spinning, don't remove it. You're going to need this also for the next uh, video, so in that way you can see in which direction you know your quadcopter is supposed to tilt you know, while you're flying. Okay, so okay. Uh, if you got any questions, any comments, uh, any ideas, please don't forget to leave it on the comment section below. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.